Hello, hi. Yes. My name is Njeri. Yes. You were telling me about the, the child that was, yeah. Yes. 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 She was raped and unconscious. She was raped and unconscious. How old is the child? She's five years old. Five years? Yes. So there were two men? There were two men. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So the girl cooperated. They, they raped the girl throughout the night. My God. So they repeat again. They did. Hello. Hi, how are you? Ha, I am not okay. Imagine, Jonah, I was really getting anxiety. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, oh, oh okay. I, I think the best thing is for me to to talk to a therapist who can talk to you. Is that okay? I know, but I'm scared. Yes, I know you're scared. Hello. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Now I've called someone and they're telling me there's this kid eh, who got raped. Jesus so Christ. in the morning, mm. mm -hmm. then she was unconscious. Taking her to her grandmother is not just the only solution. That child needs, of course, that child needs counseling. The little girl saw the guy that was raping her. Okay. Okay. There's been another reported case similar in nature to that one. Ruth, do you know anyone in Dry Police Station? Ah, yes, sir. Please do that, and then we will see how we can get into contact with them, how we can follow up on the arrest. I am a mother, both to human beings and to cats, very important. I am committed to changing the narrative that is in Kenya right now, which is the taboo that is gender-based violence. I'm very committed to that. Sikime means do not be silent in Swahili. Hi, Jerry, how are you? Nasawa Nikona, Aki Nikona, Nikona Shoshu Nataka Unisaidia Aki. The grandchild was raped by her son in law. Oh, Apa, now this is a different one. Ah, but he's been reported. Is he out it's, on bail? He's out on bail. Okay. Mm. So let, let me let me just find out. Okay. Thank you. You give me one the details. You find a you find a fact finding. Okay. And to me, class, you give me a number to show. Okay. Yeah. My marriage was pretty violent. Not all the time, but some of the time. But violence that has led me to 
be partially deaf. So when I left, I had to start over from scratch with nothing. I know what it means to be beaten. I know what it means to have yourself dragged over stairs. I know what it means to be slapped, to be insulted, to be abused, to be thrown off a moving car. Those are experiences I've been through. All the defilement cases I'm dealing with today are fathers. My God, what's happening? Letter. <laughs> 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 Ah, this is good news. This is good, good, good news. Yeah. Yeah. Been in the midst of everything. Sounds morbid to to be happy about this, but man, once in a while, just knowing somebody has gone down for something, ah, gives you hope that we are we are on the right track. Yeah. Because of the number of calls I was getting in 2020, my phone never used to stop ringing. I started having heart palpitations. When I went to a psychotherapist, I was diagnosed with vicarious second tra secondary trauma and PTSD because nothing was coming on that phone that was good news. So this is a case of defilement? It is a case of defilement. They it's... are requesting us mm -hmm. if we can help rescue the girl. Uh, let us make arrangements mm -hmm. on how to go pick up the girl then. This girl might have been a case like that. Police is to call an operation that day, to call an operation. Operation is fine. It's okay. What we can do is um, keep her in the syphilis until the time she needs, she's needed to testify. Hey, Leto. Sasa. Graffiti. How old are you? 14.
India tak kaj je bišen. Če kaj bi si zase vejva, še skol sej si, še spotim. Ja. So this is our safe house. So basically a safe house is a place where you come and stay. There are other residents as well. Uh, women, children like you. As you wait to hear your case, here you will get of course shelter, Terry will give you clothes, you will, you know, um, you'll be safe here, you'll get food, you'll get everything that you need to get. Yeah. So, so that's okay. I had a partner and he left. This was too much. <laughs> yeah, this, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. I, I'm barely home. I live very early, I come back very late. And so you really have no spare time for yourself and for the people that love you. What I do is risky. I've had a gun put on my head, that, 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 that was scary. I have been arrested, falsely accused of human trafficking, child trafficking, kidnapping, and, and gotten myself arrested by police in the course of my work. But it's a risk worth having for saving one life. I am the CEO of an organization known as Osikimia. We rescue girls, women, boys even, everyone who finds themselves in situations like the, the situations that we are going to talk about, situations of rape, defilement, domestic violence. And today I want to talk about something that is very personal to me. As I said, part of the work we do is rescuing girls and part of the things we do include what happened to our beloved sister, Cynthia Makoha, right? When I say today, say her name, say her name in remembrance. So, say her name. Cynthia. Say her name. Cynthia Makoha. For me, I believe that ending GBV starts with you as an individual, it starts with me as an individual. We cannot be party to covering up. We have to do better for our children. So for me, my last words will be you and I can end this pandemic.